Hi folks, welcome to another QGIS tutorial. Today we're going to cover how we can import data from Excel into QGIS. Now let's get started uh, with this tutorial. So you can see here in Excel, and I'll zoom in for you a little, I have uh, a very small file with the latitudes and longitudes of a few cities throughout the world along with their population. I want to get this information into QGIS and display it as a map. This is a pretty common thing. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to add a base map to QGIS so that we can get an idea for where things are in the world. There's my open layers base map. Next, we're going to want to add a delimited text file. And we can go over here and click delimited text, which this is on the manage layers toolbar. We can also go over into layer um, and we can add a layer. We can add a delimited text layer here. We can go to the data source manager and add delimited text here. I'm going to click it over here. That's how I usually do it. Now I'm going to browse my file name. Now this is, uh, if you'll notice, this is an XLSX file, an Excel file. Now I'm going to close this out. I don't need to save any changes. You can see here the file is here. This is where the file should be, but it's not there. It's because we need to export this as a CSV file, a comma separated values file, in order for this to work. So let's open that file back up. And to export, I'm going to just do file, save as. I'm going to change Excel workbook to comma separated values, comma delimited right here. And then I am going to save this as world cities. And I can browse for a location, worldcities.csv, save. Yes, I'll overwrite it. Now you can see this is now a CSV file here. So if I close out here, I go back over to QGIS. Um, we select our file. I can select World Cities. You can see that it was just added today, just created today. I will open that. Okay. So now we need to set a few settings in order to make this work out. You might notice that your geometry initially is set to no geometry. I guess before we get into that, you should come down and look at the sample data at the bottom. You can see that this is displaying correctly. Uh, if it wasn't, we can come down here and use regular expressions or custom delimiters to get those data to display correctly. If you're using a CSV, it's usually not a problem. So let's go ahead and select point coordinates because these are point coordinates. You can also use well-known text, which is a string to define a geometry. And using well-known text, you can also incorporate lines and polygons. We won't get into that today. Let's go to point coordinates. Now we need to set our X field and our Y field. So in this case, our X is longitude, which automatically detected, and our Y is latitude, which was also automatically detected. So we're good to go there. If you have different column names, you can come and select them from these drop downs. The next thing is to set our geom geometry coordinate reference system. Now you'll notice these are in geographic coordinates, degrees, and WGS84, EPSG3246 is a geographic coordinate system, so we're good to go. If these were projected coordinates and they were in something like UTMs, you'd want to make sure you selected the proper coordinate reference system here or your data would not display properly. Okay, so now that I have these um, settings all set correctly, I can click add. And if we close this, you can see that our points are now added to the map at their proper locations. I can go over to my layers file here. I can uh, come in and edit these just as I would any other layer uh, with QGIS. Let's make these orange stars. Uh, and make things bigger than that. 
Okay, so there you can see that I have my cities displayed on the world map. It was all quite easy. Now, one thing you'll want to do here is this is not saved. Like you have your CSV file and you've uploaded that and you've displayed the coordinates. But if you close out of QGIS, you'll have to go through that same process. Your symbology will be saved. Um, and you'll have to add it in the same way again. What you can do now is you can right click here. We can do export. We can do save features as. We can use the geo package. We can use a shape file. We can use any of these uh, vector formats that are available. And we can come down here and we'll save it as world cities geo package. I already have that file there for testing, but let's just override it and click save. And now we can export this as an actual layer file. And we'll just keep all these default settings. We'll add it to the map and we'll click OK. We're going to overwrite the file. For me, you shouldn't get that error. And now I'm going to turn this one off. You can see that those points are now added. And this here, if we look at the information, is a geo package. Let's look at the information for this one. You'll see that it's a CSV file. So by exporting that as a geo package, we can now go back and use these data again and again. And it's that simple. That's how you can import points from Excel into QGIS and display them on a map. I hope you found this tutorial useful. I have a full write-up for this on the website, opensourceoptions.com. Uh, your support's great. Hope you have a great day.